welcome everyone. Today I want to talk about the social identity theory and how it leads to discrimination. First, let's start with Henry Tajfau's earlier work. Henry Tajfau narrowly escaped a concentration camp because he was studying in a French college. His family, on the other hand, all died in concentration camps. Tajfau was brought into a world of segregation, which inspired him to study the mechanisms that make us define different in-groups and out-groups within society. In 1970, Tajfau studied the behaviour of 64 boys who were 14 to 15 years of age. They had to complete a judgment task based on estimating the amount of dots that flashed up on a screen. They were then told they had been grouped on the performance and had to anonymously reward and punish the other participants. However, the groups were actually random. They found that just based on this random group allocation, that people gave preferential treatment to their in-group and punished their out-group. Years of study following this brought Henry Tatchfau to the social identity theory. This theory went past the psychology of an individual and incorporated the larger picture, looking at the importance of group identification. He found that once someone ascribed importance and value to their group, they would promote their own group superiority, or if they were at the bottom of society, they would fight discrimination and try to promote positivity about their group. Tatchfrau found that the general tendency is for people to exaggerate the similarities between their group and exaggerate the differences with their outgroups, which can lead to stereotyping prejudice and dehumanization. Tadjvau suggests that we don't like uncertainty in the world and that we categorise people into groups to create a sense of order. Once we have categorised, we assign ourselves groups, attach our self-esteem and create internal bias. The last stage is to then judge others in relation to our group. Tadjvau suggests that we are more likely to show positive bias to our in-group than negative bias to our out-group. However, this outward prejudice becomes greater if the group's values and ideals are at threat. In the UK, there are strong movements bringing the LGBT community into the normal British society, creating a British identity of acceptance and openness. However, there is still a long way to go, as we've seen in America, between Republicans and Democrats, but also on our own soil with Brexiteers and Remainers. We see it in immigration where we are told by the tabloids that we are threatened by invasion. They also describe them like animals who are swarming, creating an atmosphere of threat. It is this threat that is likely to make us exaggerate our differences and encourage prejudice. We have all got here after 200,000 years of evolving as Homo sapiens into modern day man and woman. No one person's suffering is worth more or less support, compassion and care as anyone else's.